Hello and welcome to the series premiere of Colored Hospital, a production of ThingsNotSeen.com. Tonight's episode is sponsored by Landed Gentris, helping you reconnect with the healing and cleansing power of nature. Beautifully handcrafted soaps, salves, and elixirs available at LandedGentris.com. And Mama Sita's Miracle Butter Cream, all natural, raw vegan, chemical free skin and hair care formula. It's handmade with love, and it's all your skin will ever need. And oh, did we ever mention it smells yummy? Mama Sita's Miracle Butter Cream, available at MiracleButterCream.com. And now our program begins. Episode 1, entitled Paper Anniversary. A sun drenched hospital room. We see the point of view of a patient struggling to keep his eyes open. A glimpse of the bedside table reveals a glass of water next to a newspaper, the Cleveland Call and Post. Several magazines are also on the table. The top of the pile comes into focus. The title, Ebony, and a picture of a family below the headline, Painless Childbirth Through Hypnosis, followed by I'm Proud to Be a Mother by Lena Horne. The patient hears a loud ticking sound then looks up to find a round industrial clock on the wall. The red second hand moves in staccato unison with the loud ticks. Slowly looking down from the clock, the patient now sees Jesse, early twenties, seated with his long legs stretched out. Jesse is holding up a newspaper with one hand. With his other hand, he grapples with a magazine behind the newspaper. The magazine is entitled Jet, with the headline, Jet's Pinups for 1959. Jesse stares intently and then rotates the newspaper and magazine sideways. The patient closes his eyes for a bit and then hears the sound of a radio on the table next to Jesse. Swing and a miss. The Indians are wilting under the heat, folks, and so is this crowd. Will, a young man in his 20s, stands in the doorway. Man, we need that radio back in the break room. Close the door, fool. You the fool. I see that jet you hiding behind a car on post. Negro, can you even read? What? You heard what I said, biscuit head. <laughs> oh, he's so bad. No, no Nero. Finally, he's waking up. Willie, go get Dr. Crawford. Slide me that radio over there, Slick. You got a deal. Uh, give me that jet and them ebony's over there, too. Here, hurry up. From the patient's point of view, we see Will sprint out of the room. Moments later... Coming into focus, at the foot of the bed, stands Jesse with Dr. Henry Crawford, a man in his 40s, wearing a white lab coat over a suit and tie. Thanks for staying with them, Jesse. I'll see if I can get them to swing a little overtime your way. Yeah, that'd be great, Doc. Thanks. Mr., uh, let's see, uh, I believe your chart here says Dante Marino. Did I pronounce your name correctly? Dante Marino, an Italian man, mid-forties, sits up and fills his bandaged head. Do you understand me, sir? Mr. Marino? You had an awful accident along Dead Man's Curve. You are very fortunate that your orderly Jesse here was driving to work, saw what happened, and brought you in last night. Your truck can probably be fixed, but, um, them folks took all your, your fruits and vegetables you was hauling. Now, I, I ain't take nothing, because cause you, was, you was bleeding, bleeding pretty bad when, 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 I, when I, I saw you, when I, picked, when I brought you in here. Mr. Marino, do you understand me? Do you know where you are, sir? Mr. Marino frowns. He lifts a hand and then rocks it back and forth to indicate his understanding is so-so. Welcome to County Hospital. Oh, oh, colored hospital. No, 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 colored. No, colored hospital. He's so bad, sir. No, 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 colored hospital. No, 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 no. Mr. Marino quickly switches to Italian and continues to yell. He's so bad. No, because I don't got that. Dr. Nero, Dr. Nero. He's so bad, sir. Jesse and Dr. Crawford are taken aback. Uh, Doc, I don't speak Italian, but I know when somebody is cursing at me, and I think he just told us where we can go and what we can do when we get there.
We are now in front of the hospital entrance. A banner stretched across the door reads, Happy First Anniversary County Hospital, August 7th, 1959. Beneath it, four rows of staff, doctors and nurses are tightly assembled. The photographer, a man in his late 50s, makes adjustments to the lens of a large tripod mounted box camera. All right, everyone, please look down here into the lens and smile. Dr. Crawford is standing next to Vivian Tannehill, the hospital administrator, early 40s, clothed in very fashionable dress and jewelry. And then he throws magazines at me, yelling at the top of his lungs in Italian. Those magazines are so old, I don't blame him for throwing them at you. So would I. Okay, people, just a few more shots. Thank you for your patience. If your brow is sweating, please wipe it now. We'll be finished soon. He doesn't speak any English? No, but he certainly knows at least one English phrase. Colored hospital. No, no, no. Oh, no, colored hospital. Oh. That makes me so mad. We're a year old and people still refer to us as colored hospital. What do you expect? This is supposed to be an integrated staff. But our white colleagues conveniently couldn't be present for this anniversary photo. Don't get me started about that. For now, let's focus on your patient and get him a translator. Uh, what about Mullins? He served in Italy years ago. That old fat pasta-loving fool maybe put down a fork long enough to pick up the language. Dr. Mullins is on vacation. Good. I don't want to owe him any favors anyhow. I know someone who could probably translate well enough for us. Well, who? Maggie, from the cafeteria. She picked up Italian from her neighborhood. Maggie, is she that high yellow gal you've been given a ride to work this summer? Must you identify everyone by the color of their skin? Thank you very much for enduring this hot sun. Now, if you're a member of the maternity ward team, please join me in your department for a photo session with the anniversary babies and mothers. Is she staying with you and Vincent? Yes, she and her little boy have been staying with us. Well, why? What's she done? Nothing. She had an issue with her husband. Look, Henry, if you don't want her help. Now, I'm just asking because it's obvious she's recovering from a shiner around that left eye, no matter how much makeup she puts on it. The situation is under control. Do you want Maggie's help or not? All right, just, just ask her to meet me outside the patient's room and I'll go over my questions. He's going to be shocked to see a colored woman speaking Italian. I can't wait. Just as I am. In the maternity ward, the photographer glances at his watch, a bit annoyed at Dr. James Henderson, an OBGYN in his late 40s. Dr. Henderson is speaking to a group of mothers, seated and holding their babies. Several nurses stand behind them smiling, except for Nurse Nancy Truesdale. Nurse Truesdale is a woman of color, in her mid-40s, who speaks with a Caribbean accent with British flourishes at times. Nurse Truesdale's eyes are welling up with tears. Ladies, I cannot thank you enough for returning to County Hospital one year later on the birthday of your beautiful blessing. Nurse Truesdale quickly wipes her runny nose. This historic hospital, the first fully integrated medical institution of its kind in the state of Ohio, which was founded to serve all people, people of every race, people of every income, people Excuse of... Excuse me, Dr. Henderson. We need to get started. The reception in the cafeteria begins soon, and I'm... Sure, these mothers here could do with a bit of refreshment. Oh, oh, of course. Sorry. Please excuse me for running my mouth. I'm just so happy to see so many of our families again. Several moved away and wanted to be here, so I guess we'll save them a piece of birthday cake. It may be a bit stale when they receive it. <laughs> this guy and his jokes. We're going to be here all day. Given that this is our paper anniversary... We have photo albums for each family. The hospital has a book of matches with our county hospital info on it. Oh, how quaint. So please, ladies, stop by the nurse's station before you leave today to pick up your gifts. Nurse Truesdale sobs as she abruptly runs down the hall. Oh, my giddy aunt. Nurse Peggy, would you see the nurse Truesdale, please? Yes, doctor. Right away. Doc, we gotta finish with Adam. I understand completely. The photographer manages to take a few pictures before Nurse Peggy returns and whispers in Dr. Henderson's ear. Dr. Henderson quickly exits. For crying out loud! Well, this will have to do for now, ladies. I'll join you in the cafeteria shortly, 
and take photos while you have lunch. The Savior is waiting for you. Dr. Henderson knocks on the women's room door. Nurse Truesdale? Are you sure you don't need assistance in there? I can get one of the nurses to help. No, I just need to speak with you right away. Take your time and collect yourself. I'll be in my office. As Dr. Henderson walks away, Nurse Truesdale slumps to the bathroom floor. Can't tell him what I did to those babies. I just can't live with this any longer. My heavens! What did Nurse Truesdale do? Find out on the next episode of Color Hospital. Hello, I'm Steve Kendall, the creator of Colored Hospital. We'll return for the closing credits in just a moment. I wanted to quickly make an appeal to you, dear listener. If you enjoyed our podcast, which was performed by my friends and family, thank you, friends and family, we ask for your support. We're raising funds to purchase microphones and other equipment to continue this series. I'd also like to use any leftover funds to pay our volunteer actors. I'm not going to take anything. I'll simply divide it amongst them. If you're a Hollywood producer, I would love for you to buy the rights to my script. Contact me, and I'll transmit a copy of both the one-hour TV pilot and the podcast versions of the script. For more information, please visit my website at thingsnotseen.com. That's seen like a movie scene, spelled S-C-E-N-E, thingsnotseen.com. Thank you for your time and for listening, and God bless. Thank you, Mr. Kendall. And now our closing remarks. Our cast, in order of appearance, Frank Petrie as the radio announcer, Cassandra Kendall as the public address pager, Judith Kendall as Vivian Tannehill, Angel Kendall as Nurse Peggy, Lady Danny as Nurse Truesdale, and Steve Kendall as all the other voices. It has been my pleasure to serve as your narrator. I'm Bernard Bernard. On behalf of the entire cast, thank you for choosing Colored Hospital. A special thank you to our sponsors, Landed Gentris, helping you reconnect with the healing and cleansing power of nature. Beautifully handcrafted soaps, salves, and elixirs available at LandedGentris.com. And Mama Sita's Miracle Butter Cream. All natural, raw vegan, chemical free skin and hair care formula. It's handmade with love, and it's all your skin will ever need. Oh, and did we mention it smells yummy? Mama Sita's Miracle Buttercream, available at MiracleButtercream.com. Colored Hospital is a production of ThingsNotSeen.com. We'll close with a selection by the Brothers of Nashville featuring Andrew Dixon, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. Until we meet again, Keep listening. Swing low, swing low, sweet chariot, coming for, for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot.